Okay, in this video, we're going to do scientific notation with the basic or BASIC uh, 3003 calculator. This calculator you can find sometimes at the 99 cent store, but not for 99 cents anymore. Um, and when we do scientific notation calculations, there's going to be additional steps, and we'll see. Uh, so here we go 5.0, let's do this one, 5.0, times 10 to the 6, we have exponent times 10, exp is times 10, and then we're going to put 6 times, so we're going to put times, and it writes out the number for us, 8.32, right, exponent, negative, so we got to, this is a negative 4, so we got to press negative 4, enter, and then it gives you 4,160. 4,160. This calculator doesn't have a different mode for scientific mode. You're going to have to do it by hand, right? So the decimals here, you go one, two, three. You're making this number smaller, right? One, two, three, which is 4.160 times 10 to the third. So you're going to make this bigger. You're making this number smaller. You're going to make the exponent bigger. I have a um, a lesson you can look at on YouTube on how to do this by hand and gives you more steps on how to do this. That's how you're going to have to do it on this calculator. Okay, let's do these right here. Let's do the next one. Um, it might be a good idea to clear it, most likely. Um, this is not an algebraic calculator. It doesn't keep things uh, what they call on stacks. It's best to just clear it. 6.23 to the power of 8 divided by, right, divided by 1.25 to the power of negative 6, not subtraction, right, we're doing this problem, equals uh, 4.984 times 10 to the 14th. Now this one, it did do it in scientific notation because it's probably there's not 14 places, or there's probably some limit where it will do the scientific notation, kind of like automatic. So here it is. Um, this negative 6 will go up to be a positive 6, and that's why you get to 14. Let's do these two right here. Um, this is a big number, this is a small number. Subtract a tiny number from a big number, it doesn't make a difference. And you can see it's the same answer, but we'll do it anyway. 6.5. 2, 5, exponent, right, times 10 to the 4th, subtract 8.31, right, to the power, or x times 10 to the negative 8, this negative right here. Enter. And so the answer here is 62500, right, here's the decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4 making this number smaller times 10 to this exponent is going to be that uh, place of 4. That's why we get 6.25 times 10 to the 4th. This one. This one is a little more reasonable. Let's do, let's clear. Um, 6.14 um, times 10 to the 4th. Subtract. 6.25, again, uh, times 10 to the 4th, equals, and this one gave us negative 1100, or negative 1100. Now, decimal places here, 1, 2, 3, made this number smaller, negative 1.0, and it's 3 places times 10 to the 3rd, okay? Make this smaller make this number smaller, make this exponent bigger. Now, that's, you know, without the negative sign. There's a few things that are playing here. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see if we can do this one. Clear. we got to put the number in first, 1.6 um, times 10 to the fourth, and then take the square root. And that's going to be 
And again, move the decimal place two places, make this, smaller, make this number smaller, and then the exponent bigger. Okay, so that's the answer. Significant digits, you're going to have to ask your professor if there are any. Okay, this one, we do the math here first, and then we take the square root. Let's clear it. 2.3, right, times 10 to the fourth, divided by 2.3, right, to the power of 6, or times 10 to the 6, equals, gives you 0 0.01, we need to take the square root, and that gives you an answer of 0.1, right? This one's a little bit different. So you move the decimal over to make it bigger, and then you have to make the exponent smaller, negative 1. There was no exponent here, as you can see. So from 0, it makes it to negative 1. This one, let's see if we can do this one. Um, so we're going to turn this off, right? So we go 1.73, right, times 10 to the minus 4, right? And we're going to do it to the third power. So we're, we're going to press this button here, y to the x, and then to the third power. Enter. 5.17 times 10 to the negative 12. It did do this one, right? Uh, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then this 3 has to multiply this 3 times, right? And then it gives you 5.17. Let's do this one. This one, this one right here. Let's clear that. 5.49 times 10 to the 4th, right? And then we press y to the x to the fifth power equals 4.987 times 10 to the 23rd. Really nice. 4 times 5 is 20, but this is 23. Well, 5.49 to the fifth power, you have to change the decimal. If you want more instruction on how to use your your you know, step by step by using it by hand manually. I got a great video you can watch. You can look it up in the description or you can uh, look it up in um, my channel. If this was um, something useful for you and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please tell your friends. Please tell your teachers. I hope you have a great semester and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.